Right guys, welcome back. Uh, back in workshop, every day, every day, back in workshop. Uh, you might be able to see behind me, little green BSA. That's next on. Uh, I was gonna start this video yesterday, but I had, I had a guy from Luxembourg come, so yeah. I had to just stop. I started bending the pipe and then I had, I had one guy, want, he wanted to come, he come from Bury, so he only come over hill. And I've been doing this for him. Let's spin it round. That, he brought me this feather bed, wants me to put a little rear loop on back there. So we've had seat out, he brought me a seat. Whoa, that way. Brought me that seat there. So we could have a look to see where rear loop wants to go. And then I'll show you this, this is interesting. Let's flip the camera in. That there, that's Grandad's fiberglass mould to make a Manx seat. So when he was selling them at shop at Unity, that's what he used to have his fiberglass seats made in. So I've also had that out to check my rear loop. That's my rear loop that I'm going to weld on. Little butterfly to open mud guard on. So we've had that sat on frame as well. He turned up about three o'clock. And then about ten minutes later, Pascal from Luxembourg turned up. And Pascal's one of uh, Grandad's old customers. Uh, how about explaining that? Yeah, I was just on Facebook one day and someone sent me a photograph of Grandad shop. And I'm like, where have you got that from? He said, oh, it's in this group. So I went out on group and this guy called Pascal posted up the picture. So I sent him a message, asked him where he got it from. And he said he was there in 81. He had Grandad make him a set of pipes. So then he sent me a load more photos through. And I spoke to him for the last couple of years, probably. That was probably a year, yeah, a year, a year or two ago. Uh, and then he's been over in Alaman for the last 15 days and he said oh while I'm on my way back I'll call him so that were here 40 years apart you were here in 81 or at Grandad Shop Bank Road and then come back here in 2023 which is mind blowing so yeah I've given both the full tour uh, Nigel you'll be watching this Nigel's one of my YouTube fans uh, yeah he loved it he loved it because they were both here at the same time so I took them both upstairs give them a proper tour at place uh, didn't get much done on this bending this pipe I'll show you a pipe. This is what I've got to do. That pipe there in vice. So I got that far in. I bent the top bending. We're copying off that one. So that's a B40 pipe, I think. It's going to be the same. Once I've, once I've got it all the way around, it'll be the same. It, what it needs to be, it needs to be a little bit deeper. The one I need to make needs to be half inch deeper. So I've bent this, it's exactly the same as that one, but because I've bent it and it's tightened up, then I need to put this bending backwards. Uh, what it'll end up doing, it'll pull that back when I, when I pull on this. So you imagine I'm going to put the next bend in, I'm going to pull it that way towards me. And then that will open, open out that bend, so I've actually bent that tighter than it needs to be. And then that will open it out, and then hopefully be in the right place. I've got a little wire pattern there that I've not been taking care of while we were showing things yesterday, but that there, my little wire pattern, and hopefully that'll make, that'll fit. That'll make a nice pipe if I can get it out of there. I'm really good at them wire games, you know, where you have to send a hoop around a white electric wire and it buzzes you. Good at them, because steady hand. Uh, let's just plonk this on here. Sorry, sorry for the floor then. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard with one hand. If I get that in there, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something like that. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. See, it touches case in there. It's up to the middle there. If I actually put it in top at bore, I'm aiming to go around the outside at pipe when I'm copying it. So I put it up into top at port. Then I have a nice gap across the casings. You just see shadow line going across casing. Well, that's the plan. That's the plan to put that on there. And then <coughs> after that, what if I had out? Oh, I've had one of these. This is like a wassle off the shelf BSA silencer, which is not a CCM one. He wants one somewhere in between. So it wants to be about that size because this is a nice size on that bike. If you have a look at that there. That's a nice size to have, but it's it's fair straight. The proper ones are bang on straight, whereas that's got a little tiny, it's, just, it's flat on the back and not flat on the front, if you get me. Uh, what I'm going to do is put a lot more kick on it and I'm going to make that end longer so I'll move the join line to about there so you have a two thirds of it on that side one third of it on that side make the middle bigger just to give it a bit more girth uh, and yeah, then just put a bit more angle on it 
So I've done that, I've drawn that out. Now we're gonna, we were gonna dry it out last night and then I totally forgot. And then I set off to the post office this morning and thought, oh, I still forgot to do those drawings. <coughs> so I went to the post office, then went back home. Uh, two seconds of a job on computer. I used to draw these out by hand, these cones, and then oh, they just take all day to do, working it all out by hand, plotting it out on a piece of paper. Uh, so what I do now, just take them home, draw them up on computer, print them out, bring them down here, cut round them, transfer that to steel, cut round them again. <laughs> Still a long process, but the more accurate when I've done them on computer. So I'll show you these and then I'll set camera up and we'll start bending again. If you can see any lines on there. Yeah, so that, that's going to be bottom end of the cone. And that one on there is going to be my top end of the cone. I'm going to cut round them, transfer them onto steel, weld them up, roll them up, weld them up. They'll look like that, but that is a proper B50 one, that. So it's, it's too big of a bore, it's massive, that. I want it to be a little bit skinnier, just because that's a B40 and not a CCM B50 MX kind of thing. It's not as... The pipe's only skinny. What's that pipe? The pipe's inch and three eighths. And the CCM has inch and three quarters. So that pipe, let me... Put me, put me thinking brain on. That pipe, inch and three eighths like a C15, B25, B40, I think. And then inch and a half for a B50 road bike trailblazer. And then you have an inch and five eighths for a B50 MX. And then you have inch and three quarters for CCM. Some of the B50 MX is inch and three quarters as well. Uh, Things like Dad's race bike were inch and seven eighths, I think, on a B50. But you can't bore the port out that big. So you do inch and three quarters, step it up to inch and seven eighths. Uh, yeah. They're just pipes, aren't they? They're just pipes. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is get the torch out. I've got one of Dad's mates coming from Australia today. He's not coming from Australia, he's, he's here over from Australia. So yeah, I'm gonna get interrupted again at some point. Uh, so I've just thought, I'll set camera up now. We'll put the other bends in this pipe. Uh, get that somewhere near and then start cutting out patterns. Cutting out the patterns is going to be better to do if, wait, while waiting for him to come. If I, st I know he's not coming until mid-afternoon. So if I start bending the pipe a bit too late in the afternoon, like guarantee he'll turn up as soon as I put a load of heat into it and then I'll have to stop and then I'll have to put a load more heat in it. So yeah, cutting out patterns is going to be better. So yeah, green bike down there. Plan is to put a pipe on it. I'll be back. Right guys, I'm gonna do a bit now. Uh, where's, my, where's my tube, where's my tube? There we go. Right, so I've just had a phone call off Steve. We've had Ashley's car park take time for like a year and a half or something, wanting a new gearbox. Year and a quarter. Uh, he's like, he's done, he's done it. Gearbox is done, clutch is done. Alternator, battery, shitload of stuff. And apparently he's on his way up now from Rochdale, so I'm going to just try and put one quick bend in this and then hopefully I'll get it done in time before he turns up and and then what, oh, I'll wait for it to cool down because basically I've got to do, I've got to pull this bend back so I've got to pull that that way and then I've got to push that one that way so if this one, if you do them straight after each other it just slackens the bend out so like this one's cooled down now, so that one won't move that much. When it were warm, it would have moved. So yeah, that's my plan, is now to, to flick this backwards. Should be roughly from there-ish. To, oh, come on, come on. There-ish. Probably like seven inches, I think they are on me, CCM ones. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. The problem, I wanna do a little bit for me. For a reel, I'm not going to reel in a while. I don't like to do it. <clears throat> just get my phone out and hold it in my hand, I think. Yeah. There's got to be a better way of doing this. I need someone to film me, don't I? Whoa, oh, yeah, there's got to be. Never mind. Let's have a look.
get to walk it then. to the right angle so what we've got here now got that on that it is a bit deeper now I think it's only a little bit deeper I suppose then I don't need it to drop down as much maybe but yeah I've got this this bend here and that's flicking up so what I need to do now is rotate all the pipe round get that in a flat plane and then I just flick that on the end I'll give you a quick look from top down and then I'll have to keep all the on stick I think on my tripod but yeah that's basically what we've got we've got the shepherd's hook shape now looking like that and yeah and that pipe behind it way there we go that it's hard to point that there that's what we're copying that's what we've got altered slightly it needs altering slightly but yeah get that on there so yeah wait for it to cool down 
wait for Steve to turn up. Steve's likely going to talk to me for like half an hour about the car and what else, but other problems it might have, won't have. Should be sorted though. Paid a, paid a fair lot of money uh, to get it fixed. So, yeah, I'll do that. I've just told you that three times now, Anna. We'll do that. Uh, I'll flick that in, I'll put camera back on. That'll all just be speeded up, won't it? I'll just speed that up. And then we'll get on with cutting out the patterns before Mark turns up from Australia. So, happy days. I'll speak to you again soon. Right guys, we're back on. We're back on. Let's get a lighter. <coughs> Should have made a brew. Should have made a brew, but the pipes are all looking all right. So I just thought this is cool now. I can touch it. So it's ready to bend again. It does want a little bit more bend this way before I send it back that way. But I'm, I, what I'll do is, because it's cold now, I'll warm this bit up, bend it back this way, then sort that out. Because what it does is it'll all now we're getting towards the end. Every time I move this, it's, it's, it's waggling the front. So that's trying to pull out a shape. So what I need to do is put this in and then correct it all afterwards. So yeah, I've done the rotation. Rotation's done. This is in right place now. So I've put that on the top of there. It goes all the way around outside nicely. It now wants that bend sticking on there. I'm going to go just before I get towards in line with this, in line with bench really, it just wants to just point over there into that into the cubby hole at the back, so I keep that to hand, get the blowtorch warming up again, and see if we can, even that's cooled down, I've been half an hour I think. probably have got my phone again. Don't know how much you want to see that in a real bike, but give it a go.
Sorry, I'll have to check it again. Uh, let's have a quick look. It looks right, I think. Let's have a quick view of that from the top. So I've just put that bend in. And that's what it's looking like from side on. Almost there, just wants, just wants tweaking up and down. Yeah. Right guys, I'm back. I'm back, it's been a couple of days. Uh, that's how these videos go, innit? I've got nothing to say. Got nothing to say, I'm under cash again. I am under the cash. Uh, what have I got to do? Basically this green bike, still on this green bike. Uh, what's that, WDB40. Uh, I'm going on holiday, going on holiday, going to see Tommy again in France, so I can say that on here because it's not a security threat again because this video won't go online. I've got, I've got so many to do and I've got that Norton Inter to put up. Uh, you know, basically you don't know that do you, I don't know why I'm telling you that but yeah I have, I've got a Norton Inter to do so you might have seen that before. This will probably come out in December. It's being filmed now in September. <laughs> uh, that's how far I am behind. Hopefully I'll get a couple done before I go to France, but I don't know, I might not. Uh, plan is to maybe try and get a couple on because then it'll clear camera space up. Got some news, bought a battery. Bought a battery, some Chinese ones. Uh, God knows, it was like 30 quid, 50 quid, 90 quid for a proper Canon battery. My God. So yeah, I bought two. Bot two, yeah, they come with a little smart charger. This thing, basically, it's got a little digital readout. It feels naff as, there's no way in that at all. But yeah, it come with two cheap batteries, and I just thought they were twenty quid for two batteries and a, and a charger from China. So I'm just thought, well, worth giving it a go in it. Worth giving it a go. If they die, I'll just buy some more and just keep it like that. Uh, so yeah, I've got some new batteries. I've not got one in at the moment, but the the, the bad battery, I've whizzed it. It's gone, it's in bin. So yeah, so I'm filming this now. Well, I say September. Then I'm going to see Tommy in France at the end of the week. Uh, it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday, and I'm gonna try and get rid of some bikes before then. So I've, I've just had the, the video before this video will be a trying video. He's just come and pick that up. Uh, that's gone, so that's one bike out of the way. Basically, I want to get the bikes down to a minimum while I'm not here. Uh, it's well secure in here, you've all seen me big fence, haven't you? And everything gets padlocked up, so if we have a look here, chain round that one to that one. There's a chain on the other side down there that will link to Triumph before Triumph's gone. I've got my bike over here that's chained to another customer's bike. All the customer's bikes chained to a big power press. Uh, I've got my big metal fence. I don't know, I don't know why I need to go through all security with you. But yeah, I won't be, I'll be here. I'll be here. When you know about this video, I'll be here. So uh, yeah, no security effects. So that's my plan. Yeah, get the bikes down to a minimum and then I can at least put two chains around every bike. Get rid of this big GSXR off there. That's just been sat there as an ornament really. I need to get onto it. It's, it's on there because I need to get onto it. Uh, if I take it off there, then it might be a bit of a while before I get it on there. And it's pretty much, it's high priority that now. But yeah, get rid of this one because I don't want this. It's it's a full bike. So if someone did break in, you'd take that, wouldn't you? Because it's a full bike. The rest of them, they're all in bits. That's not worth taking. Not without tank and everything else on it. That's just basically, I think it's just a dummy engine. So not worth taking. Same with other bikes underneath here. The non-runners, not worth taking. Uh, but yeah, if I can double chain them all up and maybe I'm going to, Probably drag that GSXR off there, put it down on the other side at workshop so it's not in front of the door. So if anybody's looking through cracks or whatever, you can't see naff all. Then I'll double chain them all, get them all nice and away. But yeah, this one needs to go. It's Tuesday. He wants to come and pick it up on Thursday. Thursday or Monday, but I'm going on Monday, so Monday's a no-go. So it's a Thursday and it's Tuesday. And basically it's still not got a pipe on it, so You'll have seen me making the pipe. Well, I think in the last video I showed you this, the pipe's there, it's ready. But I need to triple check it before it goes on. I've said to the customer, if that goes on, he can have it on Thursday. Because then all I need to do is the megaphones, the megaphones are half done. If it doesn't fit on there, then it's a write-off. I need another two days to make that pipe. He can't have it before I go away, so he'll have to wait another week. So I've got these. This is one I taped up yesterday. I've redesigned this. I've got about 10 patterns for these now. And the one that I wanted to put on this bike of what I would have called a V25 one. I don't know where pattern is for it, so maybe I just printed it out and thrown it away. I don't know why I didn't keep a pattern for that. But yeah, I couldn't find a pattern for it, so I've redesigned it. 
and that is now going to be a new B25, B40, maybe a C15. Basically all it is, it's just smaller diameter than what you put on a CCM. And because the bikes are smaller and the pipes are smaller, that's going to look a lot better than a big, massive pipe. Yeah, you know, they're supposed to go on inch and three quarter pipes at CCM one. So just even that little end there, it'd be far too big if I put a CCM one on. So yeah, that's a new pattern. I've got two of them, they're rolled up, ready to go. So my plan today is to weld them together, make some phone calls from customers, because that's another one. I don't want to have, I don't want customers absolutely pestering me while I'm on holiday. So I just need to get all my emails done, all my messages done, phone calls ticked off, get people booked in for when I come back, all that stuff. So they're not trying to ring me and book bikes in while I'm away. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get them done get them welded up triple check the pipe so i've got the wire pattern on now yeah let me spin that around i've got the wire pattern on there now i'm just gonna i'm gonna check that on here check it back towards the pipe possibly copy the pipe with the wire pattern check it back on the bike keep doing that backwards and forwards a few times make sure i'm happy with it then i'll empty its hand out of it and then it'll be fingers crossed time <laughs> uh, once that's done i say that's on the megaphone shouldn't take me too long. They want welding up, they want a collar putting on, they want a bracket putting on. I've got to make two sets. Uh, two sets of megaphones, one set of pipe. He's brought me an original pipe that don't fit this bike, but fits one I've got upstairs. I've got a frame upstairs, so we're going to mock it up on that frame upstairs. So yeah, I need to shut up and crack on. So what I'm going to do is I'll do that. I'll update you, end of day. Uh, this will just be a little two day video, obviously. As I said, Tuesday. Wednesday, I've got today and tomorrow, maybe half a day on Thursday to just to finish it off. So I'm gonna crack on and I'll be back. Right, let's hit that stop button. Right guys, we're back in. That were a rough night. We had to take cats at vets like three o'clock this morning. Oh, So yeah, tired today, tired today. If I look a bit rough, that's what it is. Uh, basically, yeah, I'm, I'm even worse. Worse a hole than I were before. Uh, I said to this guy, come and pick this up today. It's Thursday now. I, I told you about the days the other day, didn't I? It's Thursday now, we, we made it. Uh, bike's there, and it's 90% done. But when I went home last night, I, I was here till about 8 o'clock last night, and I thought to myself, I'm not, I only had a bracket to do. I've got, so I've made the brackets now, that's what I've done this morning. Uh, I, I had grind rate cut in them, and it's always a bit dodgy, you're doing it a bit like, a bit risky, holding that in your hand with a slitting disc. Uh, yeah, it's a bit dodgy, so I just thought, not not at this time of night then. It was just getting a bit too late in the day, so I thought what I'll do is, I've got plenty of time in the morning, I'll come in, make them two brackets, I only need to weld one onto the bike, other one's just a spare. Uh, and then drill and tap the baffling. Oh, I was job tops. Uh, and then yeah, all hell broke loose, middle of the morning. Cat, cat just started like shouting like mad. Uh, some of you won't even like cats, so you'd just be like, no, shut up, you soft. You're soft. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I've had him since he was born, so I've had him for like eight years, birthed him, absolutely birthed him. So I didn't birth him, he didn't come out of me, but my other cat birthed him. So yeah, I've had him a long time. And yeah, it looked like he was having a fit or an heart attack or something like that. So we took him to emergency vets at three o'clock this morning. Yeah, I've not had much sleep to be honest with you. I went to bed about four. Uh, so, yeah, that's me. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I just thought I'd just get camera out because he might just turn up anytime. Uh, and if he does, then I won't have a chance to film this. So, plan is get MIG welder out over there. Oh, everything's back to front. Get MIG welder out. That's why I moved bike here. That's why bikes are there a lot of the time. I just pull MIG welder out of there, tack up. Once I've finished it, I'll tack all brackets on, just tack it all together. And then it's out the way at gas bottles as well. I do on my welding over there on bench, don't I? So leave the bike here in front of me, tack everything on. I've had it on that bench, welded it all together. Everything that's on there is all welded. Just need to put just the bracket, just tack the bracket on, pull it off, tap the hole for baffle, put it all back on again. Maybe take a picture of it on floor because I've not been doing much Instagram stuff recently. Uh, yeah, that maybe do a quick reel, but you know, like, what? Well, I'll take it all off, put it back on, film myself putting it back on. People on Facebook, Instagram, get tend to like them, I don't know why. 
Uh, but yeah, so that's my plan. I'll, I'll spin this friend camera around, I'll show you now. Uh, it's very nice, to be honest. Very, very nice. Customer, I sent the customer a video yesterday and he's watched it about 20 times, he said. And he's more than happy. So I expect when he turns up, he's coming up from London. That yeah, he is going to be very happy. So, what have we got? First of all, I went a bit high here, but this is the second pipe I've made and I've not got enough time to sort it out. If that's That gap there, I wouldn't normally do that. But yeah, I'd, I'd just bend another one because I'm not bang on happy with it, but there's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. That's what they look like, but I like to get them proper skimming that. But then the problem is with that, I did that with first pipe, I think, and it just won't go, there's only one route through there because how tight the gaps are. So what I've done, I've come up and then like that, through that gap. So that's just, just where pipe ended there. That, that That's all one straight run. So yeah, that's just, just the way it worked out. I've got a nice little race and stab bracket there on front. If it'll zoom in, focusing. That's brazed on at front, into head nice and tight. Nice, nice, nice little bracket that. Then it comes over here. This is where it starts getting interesting. You probably, I probably won't be able to focus in on all these gaps, but there's a gap here. This this little tongue sticks down into all the all this strap on, and that pipe passes through. Just passes through. If I'd have gone left a little bit or right a little bit, it'd touch either one of them. Uh, and that clip will only just come. You can just flick it under the side of that. And then if you look there, I've clasped it underneath and that's, that's tight up to the top, but there's enough gap. Then it skims there on back of that battery carrier. And even I'm impressed with this, to be honest with you. It's probably the tightest pipe I've ever done. And I've not had to put a dint in it yet, which I'm amazed by. So yeah, there's a little tiny gap underneath that. Then there's a little tiny gap. There's like a little electrical wire comes out of there. Little gap between the rubber, little gap between that mount. Just checking it now, yeah. Yep, daylight through there. Then as it's coming through this mega, there's a little gap behind this tube here. A little gap towards that oil pipe, so it's not touching that oil pipe. And then it's not touching shocker at back if I do this. Just a little tiny rock with backwards and forwards. What I need to do now is get the bracket halfway between that, that gap and that gap. And we're talking three mil or something. Less than that. That little gap down back of that shocker could be two mil. That much of a gap. <laughs> I've got to try and set that halfway between. And what it'll probably mean, sticking a little piece of tin behind the back of there, one mil, sticking a least bit of tin behind the back of there. Might actually just use a piece of thick cardboard just so it don't scratch the paint. Stick a bit of thick cardboard out back of there, stick a bit of thick cardboard out back of that one, just so I know it's spaced between the two. And then weld my bracket on. Uh, I say I just put that on there. Let's go and have a look, let's go and get a bracket. I've got, this one meant to go on another bike. He asked me to make two of them, but I've not got time to finish it off, so he's gonna bring it back at the end of the year. Bring me the other bike up. So there, Gonna go in there like that. I just need to drill and tap an all in bottom of them, and that'll slot in there. Nice baffled mega film. So I've made two of them. Just put a roll of what's I put in there? Five holes, five biggish holes, five biggish holes. Left all that blank. Uh, basically, because I think that's more than enough. But if he wants it louder, he can just drill some more holes in it. No idea, you've got no idea that you just think, yeah, there's enough holes there to let all gas through, it's not going to restrict it. So, yeah, nice little things then. Uh, and then I've got the brackets. So, oh, let's have a look at brackets. So, oh, you've seen them before, didn't you? I've shown them before. But, yeah, let's get that over here. This will be nice once it's on. Holes in bang up. Will be nice once it's on. A little bit tricky to do with one hand. That's going to sit there like that. It's a bit big, but I can't get the mega any higher up because of that oil pipe right back there. So, what I've done when I've made mega, I've aimed for smack bang halfway between shocker 
and then smack bang halfway between that, halfway between the chrome and the green. Just using that as a line, and then using that as a line. And then if you look at this bit, when I come out, that's following seat. So that follows that across the top of the bike. And then I always like these, these little bits here normally follow something on the bottom, so that's almost, if you can get that bit right, you get that to follow that bracket, that one follows that one. That, that extra kick there normally follows that one. So the flat bit will follow that one. That next kick will follow that one. And then this normally follows that, but I've just not got enough room to maneuver it into place. So yeah, so that's me and that green bike done. I'm gonna stop, take a photograph. No, I'll get the bracket on first and then I'll take a photograph. Uh, just make sure it's done before he comes. I can do a flipping warm as well, innit? Woke up today, I tell you, because you won't bloody know. Uh, everyone's cars are covered in sand because we've had, had red, hot, red hot weather for September for a week now, and I think it's been blowing in from Sahara last night, come with some rain. Just dumped a load of sand on everyone's cars. <laughs> so we just, like, everywhere's been sandblasted last night. So yeah, so yeah, it's just a bit warm. It's a bit warm. It's not not the day to be tired. I'm gonna get another coffee down there. Then we're gonna get me well right. Fire that on. Do me little videos, me little reels and that. Uh, I might might just do a little bit of showing you around it again, just to finish off the video if I've got time before customer comes. If not, thanks for watching again.